Hello, Smiles Ministry family. Hello. Um, long time no speak, long time no see. Um, I just really didn't plan on coming on here, not plan on doing a video, but I thought, you know, as I was lying down listening to worship, I just knew that I had to come on and to share of what the Lord maybe wants you to hear for someone who needs a word of encouragement, who has been struggling like I have to keep going, um, to just have some hope in them again, because it's been a hard, hard journey, hasn't it lately? Like a very hard journey. And um, a lot of people have been struggling to keep going and struggling to hear the Lord, struggling to spend time with him, struggling to find that peace in the midst of the storm. And I just want to say to you that you are not alone in this, that I've been going through the refiner's fire once again. Um, the first time I went through this, the first, first ever time I went through this was 2018, 2019. And you kind of assume that when you go through the refiner's fire, then once you're out of it, that that's done. But he's had me going through the refiner's fire again. And I've been reading some prophetic words that he's had the body of Christ as a collective, as individuals going through the refiner's fires again. And that gave me hope in the sense that I knew that it wasn't just me because I had myself questioning why, why am I here again? Why am I feel like I'm dying again? Why does it feel like I'm back to square one? Why does it feel like I'm back in the garden of Gethsemane? It just, there were so many why questions and that was really my point of coming on today, tonight, whenever you watch this video, is the amount of why questions that have been weighing heavily on my spirit, heavily on my heart, the whys of, behalf of myself, the wise on behalf of my family that I kept giving to the Lord and not receiving any answers to these why questions, you know, why is there still so much sorrow in my family, why is there still so much healing to be done, why is there still financial struggles, why does everything feel like it hasn't moved, why am I not married yet, why, 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 and these whys were consuming me to the point where I felt like dying again, and in this circle of the fire and the circle of the dying to myself and being crucified with Jesus, again, he's been there, he's been faithful, and that's what I need people to hear today, is that he never, ever leaves no matter how far we may feel like we are removed from him, how far we feel like we are um, um, separated from him, it's a lie of the enemy. Jesus never leaves or forsakes us. It's in his word. It's a promise. And I just need you to hear this because I know some want to give up. Some want to die. Some want to go home with Jesus. And believe me, this week I have been there and um, I'm still here. And whoever is still here, whoever is waking up each day and has got breath in their lungs, there is a purpose for you here on earth that you have not completed yet. And until the day you get to go home and be with Jesus or until he returns, we have work to do here. So as I say that, I just want to go to a passage in the Bible that all of us know, know so well, we've read a million times, but there was one sentence in this story that has stuck with me since I read it the other day, and I hope it will stick with you too. It's the story of um, where Jesus comes and resurrects Lazarus out of the tomb. So the death and resurrection of Lazarus um, and we all know the story that he was away with his disciples and word came to him that um, Lazarus was sick and he remained where he was and then word came to him again that Lazarus had died and yet again he remained and there's a point where he then finally sets off with the disciples to go to where the go to the place where Lazarus has been buried and um, the sentence that really stuck with me is when Martha heard that Jesus was on his way to back to where they were Martha, and this is me now reading from John. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet with him while Mary was remaining sitting in the house. Then Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. 
And these words that we've been saying to the Lord, that I have been saying is that, Lord, if you've been there, if you would have been there, why haven't you been there? This wouldn't have happened or this would have happened. Oh, Lord, you are there. Why are these things happening? And having walked with the Lord now since 2015, you think that you reach the end of these why questions and you don't go back to questioning certain things. But clearly different seasons require different growth, require different humility. And my prayer above all prayers has still been your will be done. Your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven, not my will. I don't want what I want. I want what Jesus wants for me and my life. And as I continue to submit to him and surrender to him, he is there. He is faithful. And I have learned this week that I have to surrender my wives on the altar. Leave them there and not pick them up. And yes, you can come to Jesus with these questions, the ifs and the whys. But do not expect to get a response. I'm not saying he doesn't always answer the whys. But Martha question it Mary they question it if you had been there and the fact of the matter is even though he wasn't with them physically when Lazarus died he was with them in the spirit because where we are the Holy Spirit dwells amongst us and he left Jesus left us the Holy Spirit as a helper as a comforter there is nothing that cannot be found that isn't in Jesus, that isn't in his lap, that isn't in his arms. He will make you whole. He will be there for you. And he is the answer to everything we ever need. And if we never ever get an answer on this side of heaven to any of the wise, he is still king and he's still on the throne. And whatever Lazarus has died in your life this week this month this year jesus yeshua yahweh is king and he reigns and he is so in love with you so beloved today as we're now in august the eighth month eight meaning new beginnings whatever you're still holding on to surrender and submit it to him let it go and let jesus be jesus be still and know that i am god he loves you he loves you so much he loved mary and martha he loved his disciples he loves you run to him this day get on your knees cry scream shout swear but be honest with your king in heaven your father in heaven your brother your friend your husband your bridegroom be honest with him i love you guys i hope this has helped in any way shape or form i've never been shy to be vulnerable and transparent on here and again, as and when the Lord leads, I will come on here and I will share, but the rest is in his hand. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.